So I get a lot of different tech questions on this channel. One of the main tech questions I've been receiving is what's the normal battery drop off of an iPhone? Like if you just purchased an iPhone yesterday and you looked at your battery health and it was down to like 90%, is that normal? So in this video, we're gonna talk about what's the normal battery drop off for your new device or your pre-existing device. Also, what are some of the warning signs and what are some of the tips that you can take to make sure your battery health stays the way it's supposed to stay for a really long time? Let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and that bell for notification so you don't miss a thing. Right off the bat, the normal battery is able to sustain up to 80% of its capacity over the course of 500 charging cycles. Charging cycles are charging the battery from zero to 100. So if you're charging your battery at 50%, that's only half of a charging cycle. If you're charging your battery at 20%, it's 80% of the charging cycle. So if you find that your battery life is at 92% after only a couple of weeks, then that's definitely a red flag that you may have a bad battery, especially if it's a new device. Now, if you've owned this device for a really long time and your battery percentage drops to about 95 to 90%, then you can kind of do the math to see how long you've had the device and kind of assume how many charging cycles you've actually gone through for your battery to degrade down to that level. So now, fortunately, there are some warning signs that you can actually look at to see if your battery is beginning to malfunction or not functioning at optimal levels. So one of those is if it takes longer than usual to launch applications. We're used to snappy, really quick launching of applications from app to app and switching between applications. If you realize that your device is sluggish and a reboot or an update is not fixing that issue, then there may be something wrong with the battery itself. The battery plays a key role in how your device performs over time with applications. So this can be a red flag. And lower frame rates when you're scrolling through your regular scrolling stuff like if you're going through applications or you're scrolling through web pages and you realize that the frame rate just isn't hanging up to where it used to be this can also be an indication that your device has a bad battery and things like network or location accuracy or just the inability to connect to wi-fi networks or dropping wi-fi networks dropping cellular networks having bad phone reception though all these things your bluetooth connection just not working properly all these things can be attributed sometimes to your device just not functioning in the way it's supposed to but if you've troubleshooted those things and you've taken a look at some of our videos and you've gone through those steps and you've troubleshooted up to a point where you believe your device is as up to date as possible and should be working the way it's supposed to but it's just not then it could be an indication that your battery is crapping out now understand that these batteries have been made to be extremely lightweight extremely durable and provide an immense amount of power all in a small place battery technology has evolved a hundred percent from where it was a couple of years ago these batteries batteries have become more and more durable and able to withstand a ton of different things. But sometimes you just have a bad battery, but sometimes you cause yourself to have a bad battery. So what can you do to make sure your battery doesn't degrade too much and make sure you maintain extreme premium performance from your battery. Lucky enough you clicked on this video so I'm going to go through a couple of quick steps that you can take to make sure your battery health stays as good as possible. Now, I'm not going to get too detailed. I actually did another video that has more detailed battery health information that you can check out. Make sure to include it in a card up above and also in the link of the description of this video. You can check that out afterwards. I'm just going to get into some quick things you can do now to make sure your battery health sustains for a long time. One of the easiest things you can do is make sure your device is always updated. I know a lot of us don't like to update our devices immediately unless dark mode is coming out or something, but updating your device to make sure it's at the latest level of iOS is extremely, extremely important. What I like to do is put myself on an update schedule. When they release an update for an operating system, I don't update immediately. I usually wait like a week or two weeks just to make sure any bugs are kind of hammered or ironed out and I can kind of see if anybody who updated immediately is having any kind of issues with the operating system. <laughs> iOS 13, if there's no particular issue that's going on, then I go ahead and update because that can help fix a lot of issues that you may have. And also when you're charging your phone, temperature definitely does matter 100%. Make sure you're charging it in a cool location. Make sure the temperature of the phone is not increasing too high. A hot battery can definitely deplete the percentage and also deplete the lifespan of the battery itself. If you live in a thousand degree weather location and you're charging your battery underneath the blanket, it's in its case, then that can increase the heat of the battery itself and overall shorten the lifespan 
of the battery. Speaking of cases, you may want to consider removing any cases while you're charging your battery itself. And this is just a play by ear kind of thing. If you realize your phone is getting hot when you charge it, first you should definitely check that out because it shouldn't get too hot. But if it's getting warm, a case can be attributed to this. We have some cases that are extremely heavy duty. They are to protect the phone 100% in case it falls, but they can also be adding an additional level of heat to the phone when it's charging and the electrical current is actually going through that live active battery. And there are a ton of different settings and battery options that are available in your iPhone. Just go in and accommodate yourself with those particular settings. Keep an eye on your battery percentage. See if it's going down too much. Keep an eye on what's using the most battery on your device. What's sucking up all that power. See if there's any kind of background processes that's causing the issue. Mitigate those by closing those applications or preventing them from running. Take advantage of those settings that Apple has in your device. Just kind of get to know them so you can have a better overall experience using your device and end up using your device a lot longer and not have to replace your device because your battery is crappy and in one or two years you can actually hang on to your device a lot longer if you really take ownership and take control of those battery settings. And always remember that if your device is being impacted by a terrible battery or just an aging battery, it's always a good idea to reach out to Apple as quickly as possible. Sometimes those techs can have some different suggestions or maybe a battery replacement is definitely needed in your device in order for you to have full control and access to using your device at the top level of performance. You don't want to use your device at a low level of performance. So reach out to Apple. They are available to fix any kind of issues that you may have. Now, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and share those in the comments section down below if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button it definitely helps the channel also i'm going to link the video on the battery health steps that i did here and this is something youtube believes you'd enjoy watching if you're not already subscribed don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some cool helpful videos like this one until next time guys peace